Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you new to my channel, my name is Yelena, the owner of what? LBE. Okay, so I'm trying to get that off that light there a little bit. So I'm blind, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying? Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so I know y'all like, LBE, where have you been working? Um, I was able to get out today because I always do my grocery shopping, my weekly little shopping, because, you know, I got to keep up husby, hubby's uh, lunch rotating so he don't eat the same thing and get burnt out so you know and then plus pick up a little eyes and ends for the house for the dog stuff like that so i do it on thursdays and as i was in there my hubby was like babe go up to the hunting section you know see what they got going on um look for this this and this he gave me like a little list and as i'm walking to the hunting section right in the middle is a bin where the bicycles and the workout stuff is behind. And I said, I know that's not what I see. I know that's not what I see. So anyway, <laughs> it was what I saw. I was like, somebody please paint me. I, I think I'm dreaming. I know I don't see stuffed animals in here that they're supposed to be on clearance. And when I go to scan it and they are on clearance and nobody's buying them. So uh, come to find out. None of the cashiers knew. They all thought it was still original price. Um, they had no clue. So anyway, of course, you girl, y'all know you girl cleaned up. And I'm glad I did because these gifts that I'm about to show y'all um, were needing something else. Um, and I put them, I like, what I've been doing lately is basically taking everything, every container or whatever I'm using Stacking everything that I want to put in that particular basket, just sitting it in there. And then once I got like 20 or 30 of them built up, I'll go one by one, start making the basket, wrapping it, making the basket, wrapping it, making the basket, wrapping it. So I have several boxes and stuff upstairs that still need to be put together. But I decided to come down here and work on my big stuff. So therefore, all of this stuff is together. So when I start bringing the rest of the stuff from upstairs, I can just stack it in here and not have to worry about bobbing and weaving trying to get to the stuff that's big to put it together because when i tell you big uh that's the reason why i'm downstairs can't will not take it upstairs and then try to figure out how i'm gonna get it back down just not gonna happen so um i've just let my creativity flow um what sells sells what don't what don't i don't worry about all that um god is real <laughs> and i'm okay with that <laughs> um so Anyway, so what I'm working on now, um, I don't know if you guys remember my clearance event haul that I went through and showed y'all, but there was something purple and turquoise in that clearance haul. And so I decided to use those for Easter. Um, but the only thing about them is I did not put any Easter eggs in it. Um, just in case, you know, just in case you want to, you have to use it for something else. You don't want to put the Easter eggs in and then have to turn around and take all it out. So the only thing that I'm going to take out, if y'all hear noise in the background, it's my husband. Uh, he just came in the house. Uh, but the only thing I'm going to take out will be the snacks and that's to refresh them and make them, you know, put some new stuff in there, candy, whatever, and close it back up. Um, and the 50 by 60 bags, oh my God, came in handy right on time. Do y'all hear me? Right on time. I said, God is good. That's why I went on to order me another set. Um, because I'm going to need them. Uh, but anyway, so the cleanest event I'm talking about was at Dollar General. Um, and they had, um, let me just show y'all. All right. For my new subscribers, these um, particular things are the chairs. And what I meant by purple and turquoise was the case that they came in. I had a haul that I showed you guys on. Um, when I did that Dollar General haul, I'll put it in the description just in case you want to look at the haul. I mean, it's up to you. Um, but anyway, it was these awesome, awesome chairs. Um, and as y'all can see, this is the stuff that I had sitting in the chair. This is not put together at all. And I, I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. I'm trying to get the glare. I'm definitely missing something right over there. So I was like, man, what can I use? Well, today, because I looked up and found the bears, I was able to be like, okay, yeah, let me use those. And it's still within my budget. So what I mean by my budget is these chairs were originally $40. They were on sale for 70% off. And then at the clearance event, they took an additional 50% off. So that made them $6 a piece. So um, they were also doing the 5 off of 25 coupon for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Just trying to give y'all a rundown of what happened. Um, so I was able to buy four chairs and one frisbee, which equaled to $25 before taxes. 
Um, and then they took off the five dollars and made it twenty twenty dollars um, before taxes, which came out to be twenty one eighty seven or whatever. And uh, basically, I got the chairs for five dollars a piece. So then I got the pillows. They were on sale. I got them at seventy percent, um, and they were a dollar twenty. Um, I also have cotton candy here from the Dollar Tree. I have the tie dye. Um, these little kits that I got from Hobby Lobby for two forty nine, originally nine ninety nine. Um, this came from last year's Dollar General Summer Sale. These were 90 cents. About everything at, uh, some of the ones I'm putting here are either 80 or 90 cents. Um, but I'm using, the, using all of these up. Um, and I wanted to put like some, some cool that they can use at the swimming pool for the summertime. So I put these floats in there. Um, and these are from the Clarence and Valentine's Day this, um, past year. I mean, this year, um, at Dollar General, um, I actually bought these for 25 cents because when they went to 25 cents on the other stuff, two of the stores that I was in my area actually allowed, they decided to take their, um, hygiene stuff to 25 cents as well. So I ended up getting quite a bit of stuff for 25 cents before I, you know, went to the 90% off sale. Um, gave them some sweet tarts. These are called the Penny Dollar General. Um, and then of course they got the traditional snacks. Also these socks. I know if y'all seen Boss Lady Feeds video right after Valentine's Day, she was telling everybody the hot shoes and, uh, I mean the slippers and socks was on sale at Walgreens, 90% off. So I went by and one store had all socks and I bought over 90, over a hundred pair of socks and they were 20 cents a piece. Um, so of course everybody's getting some fuzzy socks, whether it be the striped ones or pink ones. And then, you know, we got the mods, the, uh, Rice Krispie Treat. And of course, I'm gonna I'm mix two different Easter grasses just to make it stand out. Um, and I'm okay with that because y'all know, like I told y'all before, Easter grass was only a penny uh, for me. So, anyway, so basically, um, once you put everything together and then you add a bear, it stands out really, really well, which turns into these right here. So, these are the two of them that I have already put together. Um, and this is what I mean by just staging everything and making everything look really nice and cool. Um, and the grand total of everything that I invest in each one of these, um, with the bag and all is around 15 bucks, uh, which is not bad at all. And I told y'all that's my max on, uh, any of the investments for, as far as Easter goes, especially for the big ones is 15 bucks. The smaller ones, of course, I'm, I have to adjust that more, um, you know, just to, it still fills the basket up, but it's just to make it do what it do. So, um, this is what they look like completed. These have to be wrapped. Like I said, the 50 by 60 bags came in handy. All I have to do is just set the doggone chair inside the bag, tape down the sides, close it up at the top. Now it didn't, it didn't give me too much left over, but it gave me just enough for a bow. Um, so that worked out really, really well. Um, and there's another float that I got. I think those were 80 cents. So all of them have like different kind of floats. Some of them have the same. Some of them have something different. Um, and like I said before, there were no East, Easter eggs going in these just in case. Um, I can actually repurpose um, these for another gift idea or for birthdays or whatever um, for a young lady. So I kept them simple without the eggs. And this is what it looks like closed. As y'all can see, I told y'all there is enough left for me to put a bow on here and make it nice and pretty and stand out. And if you haven't seen the bow video, go to the um, video about with the unicorns and you'll see the bows that I made um, with the deco mesh. And I used like three pieces and that was it. I, I'm, I'm not using ribbon and stuff. For Easter baskets, that's my own preference. I'm um, not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's just my own preference. Um, and I'm not telling anybody not to use ribbon or whatever. I don't want anybody to get that confused. <laughs> anything I say that I use or that's how I do or that's my own preference, that's my own preference. I'm not telling you not to do something. Um, so I just want to make sure everybody is aware of that. Because um, somebody, you know, kind of. Anyway, ain't gonna go there. <laughs> Comments be serious, boy, I tell you. Um, so basically, this is what it looks like. This is what the bottom looks like. This is the bottom of the chair. Um, and this is what it looks like wrapped up. Like I said, I just stuck the, the chair inside of the bag. Um, these are the bags. Excuse the mess. This is stuff I'm working on. Um, but these are the bags. They're really, really big. 
Um, I've already placed another order for some more just to make sure I have enough. Um, this is all baskets and stuff over here. There's baskets down there, um, all down there and stuff. Um, and then, of course, we have, you know, a few stuff over here already lined up. Um, we got all of those, some down at the bottom. Um, so we got that stuff lined up. And then I'm going to show you all these other big ones that I got made up. So, oh, I can't even get it out, Jesus. <laughs> all right. So here is another basket slash box top type gift that I have created. Um, I actually found these on clearance. I know y'all like, man, why she used them? Them, them twenty something dollars. No, they wasn't twenty something dollars for me. I don't know. I guess the store just didn't want to have them. Have they had too many or something? So I looked up and found four of them on clearance. I did two boys and two girls. Um, and at the top they have um the water balloon pump. They have the racquetball thing. Um, they have the bubble wand, hand bubbles, peeps, cotton candy, snacks. Um, and a frisbee, and then of course they have the jumbo bowling set. So uh, I have four of these, like I said, and these are getting ready. Um, I also have some stuff I'm working on for like the babies. Y'all probably just saw a glance of it in my video, but that'd be on another video, so we're not even gonna talk about that. <laughs> we're getting those lined up, and uh, we'll have a video out for those. But uh, yeah, so this is what I got going on. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.